You're right. I mean, we haven't even really talked this week about commercial real estate, right. which could be carving a gaping hole on yeah. some of these balance sheets. That's a slower moving issue that's absolutely out there, and it's got to basically force a reckoning. But I do think that on the asset side, we kind of know what the paper losses are in aggregate. You kind of know what would have to happen if they realize it. It's a big hole, but it's not surprising, right? It's the price of treasuries. It's the price of mortgage-backed securities. I think if there's one little comfort in this whole thing, it is that. It's that we knew that rates went up. We knew that losses existed. We're just finding out where they were and to what degree and whether the deposit basis can support them. Here's the opening bell. And take a look at our real-time exchange back at uh, our headquarters here at the big board. Women in ETFs. And over at the NASDAQ is YS Biopharma celebrating its listing. Look at that. Via SPAC. All right. It still happens sometimes. You know what's crazy, David, is I, I feel like we've been talking, and if you would have listened to the first half hour of this show, you might not realize that the NASDAQ is up 5% this week, and the NASDAQ 100 is up 6%. And right. by the way, the S&P 500 is up 2.5%, which right. is kind of a head-scratcher when you have several banks failing you and do, lifelines. But, and infusion. Well, but Sarah, you've had rates go down That's a lot. Why. Well, and here's the thing.